we have another Amber video already. Ooh. And naturally, the thumbnail is her eating because, of course. Of course. Of course. Oh, I love we got the chest butt shirt on. We got the chest butt. We got the singular hair braid. So fancy. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Are we, okay, we're good. Let's go. Hello. Good morning. So I just woke up. Obviously whoa, 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 whoa. The title. The truth as to why my ex won't talk to me anymore. <laughs> because that was her plan all along. Yeah, naturally. <laughs> and uh, this literally just got uploaded about an hour ago, and we have 313 dislikes to 190 likes. Oh, boy. Love that. Today, took Twinkie out, fed the fur babies. I'm actually going to be spending the day with my mom, my grandma, and... Oh, uh, the usual suspects. Mm. No friends, though. And my mom's boyfriend. You guys think this is cute? Like, I just wanted my hair up, and I was like, I need a moment with it, so... I it's not that cute. It looks like you have a tumbleweed on your head. I mean, the, the ponytail with the twist is cute, but the frizzy, I don't know what the hell is happening there in the front. That should have been smoothed out, ma'am. And like the little curly cues just poking out. Yeah. Put like a small braid. I don't know. My hair is... And the, the, the question mark coming out of the left side or the right side. Yeah, she should have just brushed it and then put it Stage in right, tail. left. It's really frizzy right now. Um, tomorrow is my hair... What a mess. But you could have brushed it. Washing day. Anyways, I want to show you guys what I've been doing when I'm like, okay, I'm hungry, but I don't want like a full meal, but I do want, I need You're something. You're making pork okay. chips. I take some. Oh, you guys can't even see me. <laughs> Let's move this like so. Hello, hello. So I take some lunch meat. I take some string cheese. Oh, wait, we can't forget. My most favorite drink in the whole world. If you guys have never had this, please get it for yourself. The Gatorade Zero and Glacier Freeze. Yeah, shark water. There's nothing else like it. So this is like my new favorite snack. It is a good Gatorade. She wraps lunch meat around. Is that what she's going to do? I'm, that's what I'm guessing. Nah. Yeah, she's Ever. making herself a little meaty cheese stick. Um, it's just like straight to the point. I ain't got to think about it. I literally take this guy. <laughs> it takes a sandwich worth of meat. <laughs> and I wrap. <laughs> I'm not joking either. I wrap. Yeah. Amber, this isn't that... I mean, I'm pretty sure they sell these at the store. Yeah, this isn't super unique and quirky. This is a thing everybody has done. She's... Um, no, she's lunch meat, invented this. Which is, this? like, the only chicken lunch meat I will ever quirky. eat. Which is the Oscar Mayer Deli... Isn't that the stuff she had before and then threw it away? I don't remember Trash what kind it was. Trash seasoned. Because I'm really weird about lunch meat. I wrap it. Mmm. And she has a sandwich without the bread. If she ate one of them, that would be a good snack. I'm guessing it's a lot more. Than that. She probably eats like six of them. Right. She eats like just all throughout the day. Every time she walks past the fridge, mm -hmm. five pieces of lunch meat and a string cheese oh, and miles it I down. I really don't know what it is, but. Three bites gone. I'm fixated on it. I'm fixated on this. Okay, so I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to take my trash out. Mm -hmm. Trash probably snacks. Stuff. It's healthier than others. Yeah, I'd, I'd eat it. I'm tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to be home in time to actually set the trash out. So I'm just going to walk it to the dumpster myself. Sometimes I do that. I thought you had trash valet or whatever. She's going to not get the valet in time. Oh, she's going to the, the Olstein church. Uh. Amber okay, Bible Arc incoming. Oh, church, then casino. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. Jackpot! I won the major. Oh my god, I did that. I did that. Good job, Amber. So I just got back from just the whole day out. Went to church and then we went to the casino. It was actually for my grandma's birthday. Uh, my grandma's birthday was like over a week ago and she wanted to go to the casino. So we went there. I won the jackpot. It was like 650 something dollars, I think. I don't remember, but I was like so shocked. I was like, okay. So that was a lot of fun. And instead of spending any of that, I just saved it. And then we went out to dinner and now I am back home. So at church today, there was a new uh, singer there and I like fell in love with her at instant glance. I was just like, Oh, At oh, oh instant boy. glance. Oh boy! You know the old the old uh, saying, "Love at instant glance." Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god! I could not stop looking at her while she was singing. I was like, "Okay, perfection." So that happened. This was my third time. Is she gonna start? Crying? Stop lustfully looking at the church women, ma'am. I think going to church. I think just going, you know, just for in support of my mother. My beliefs have not changed. I do not believe in God. I do like going with her 
I love her. And I'm not gonna lie, even though the band is singing like about God and stuff, I think they're amazing. And I just like listening to the music. So that's always nice. Baby boy, why you licking me? This is new to me. I have never in my life seen a hand with stretch marks. I didn't even notice that until you said it. You're looking at your hand. <laughs> yeah, how does that skin do Why that? I'm thinking, how does that happen? See, I just a sweetie. Okay, guys, so it is the next day, um, and I'm just doing some cleaning. And this is just looks kind of, like, messy to me. Like, what is even happening? Like, how did this guy get over Laziness. here tilted? I don't know. So I'm actually going to take Why isn't one it of these. On your lazy maybe Susan. a couple. And I'm going to organize this to look a little better so here is the before all right it doesn't look that much better but it definitely why helps. did why did she take all of these things that belong in the lazy susan out of the lazy susan and put them in a thing because it's probably like quick access swiss organization so it looks a little better so something i have to do literally every day is do this, this on my bed since and when? on my couch because this does not happen every day. Absolutely you, not. Normally she's covered in hair. Yeah. So this have, definitely doesn't happen every day. Like I'm also covered in hair because this doesn't happen every day. Exactly. Designated spots that they love. And one of them is right here on my couch. So it gets super furry. So I have to do this every single day. Or you could put oh, a little blanket down. All of my clean clothes from when I went to laundromat. So I'm also doing that. So I wish I was joking. <laughs> I found someone's boxers in my clean clothes, and someone's sock. That's my sock. So that happened. That so is someone's at home saying, where's my boxers? Socks. Where's my missing sock? Little do they know, Amberlynn Reed has it. So if you're missing those, let me know. When I tell you I'm addicted to thin pork chops in the air fryer, I knew the pork I'm not joking. Again. And they're so thin and satisfying that I honestly don't even eat anything else with it. I'll just- Yeah, but you make like four at a time. Pork chops are good. I've never tried them in the air fryer, but I bet it's good. The pork chop like i don't know i like the pork it. chops it's so good so i'm about to make four of them so good so i just lay them out like that i use garlic salt you should probably season them before you put them in the air fryer she should put brown sugar on them it's good with brown sugar you trolling no pork chops with brown sugar is very good brown sugar and salt and pepper on the pork chops before you cook them it's excellent Okay. Which all my garlic salt is pretty much gone because this is actually a very embarrassing story. But one of the last nights that I got drunk, which I have not got drunk since I said I was gonna um, take a break, but I was like super drunk, the other side? super hungry. So I was like, I'm gonna make some garlic butter noodles. I'm also gonna use some black pepper. I guess I wasn't paying attention. And instead of opening this little tab, I screwed off the whole lid and I poured the whole thing on the pasta. So I literally had but to throw away the anyway. whole thing like it was just like you know, a waste it was i would not just really pour sad. all the seasonings in my air fryer like that i feel like that makes more of a mess to clean up yeah they just said that oh yeah why bad and pathetic but that's what happened there and then i put it in the air fryer only one side seasoned plug her in like this is so simple it's scary so i put it on 400 and it usually takes like 14 to 15 minutes that's all I do. But I will say, once it's done, I let it sit for like 20 minutes. I know that sounds crazy. Then I eat it because I kind of like it at room temperature and not like freshly hot. Okay, so the pork chops Weird. have been done and sitting and now it's perfect. Oh, that sounds really done. Yeah, because she let them sit the there in the heat dance. after they're done. You just done. go through weird fixations and sometimes it's with food. You guys have seen that right now. Mm, are we angling for a possible uh, autism diagnosis? Set. Fixations, textures, shit like that. Maybe. Now it's a pork chop moment. But really, I just want to come on here and tell you guys thank you so much, like truly from the bottom of my heart. Ever since I told you guys I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder mm. and I opened up to you guys in my last video now where she wants I was like, I started crying. You guys have reached out to me and you have been so kind and supportive and I just appreciate it so much, like beyond belief. And so many of you are like sharing your own stories with me and it's just like, we're not alone. I promise we're not alone. And I know sometimes it truly feels like it but we're not. So this isn't really something that I want to go into detail about, but a lot of people are asking, how did you hurt your ex by falling in love with someone else? Like you guys weren't together. So obviously some of this is my story to tell, but just out of respect for all parties, um, I'm going to be vague, but I do also want to just make a little bit clear that uh, I did hurt her because my ex wanted to possibly try to get back together. Uh Stop it. 
<laughs> no. When when you were begging her every day, please, I'll do anything just for one more day with you. This she really wanted to get back together. This didn't but she happen. She just didn't. Exited out. <laughs> nope. Next. She wanted us to work on ourselves and possibly get back together one day. And normally that would have been something I would have jumped at like this. But when I fell in love, I continuously chose this other person over her and I was hurting her. For like, like three days? Shut up. Shut up. This didn't happen. This really did not bad. happen. A lot went down. A, a lot of things happened. But at the time, I thought I was choosing my happiness. And, you know, in my head, I was like, I'm single. We're broken up for a reason. I remember telling my ex. We've been broken like, up for a week. I need a new caretaker. Yeah. You're not taking care of me. I need somebody new. Like, why don't we try Polly? That's never anything I would have ever. That's what you started the relationship with. Yes, it is. That this is exactly what you started the relationship with. Mm -hmm. Suggested. So she's just trying to rehash Right, she's like, well, you, well, I had to be Polly with your girl or boyfriend, the tall or short other one that was there all the time. So now you have to be girlfriend with this random girl I met on the internet and don't even know. Yeah, we have to be past, Polly. But she didn't even want to do that, and it's like my ex. No, loved she didn't so want to do that with some chick really from the internet. She doesn't work. even know. <laughs> and we all know how Amber is. Like, there's oh, no God, way. No, I was this repeatedly never choosing another person over her and that is the reason why that she doesn't want to speak to me anymore and i just feel so bad for hurting her i was just in a really confused spot and it's weird how she's the victim in this too right i mean in this situation if it if which it's not but if it were true she fucked up yeah in the original breakup she fucked up yep mm, but she's the victim and i thought i was doing the right thing initially in the end you guys are only hearing like five percent of the story out of 100%. No, but don't don't worry, we again, got the rest of it figured out, honey. And just out of respect, I'm just not going to do that to them. Yeah, we got it. Don't worry. Yeah, we know. It is the next day. It's actually morning time. I just woke up, but I went to get back in bed, and I see this little cat head. What are you doing? Oh, baby girl. She's all wrapped up in the blankets. Isn't she the sweetest little baby? She is she's the out of the blankets baby. now, and she's like sketched out because the reason why she was hiding was because maintenance came. Brady and Wasabi, they go run in when someone, like a stranger, is in the house. And then Twinkie goes barking. But um yeah, but, I'm gonna get yeah, a little bit She probably hides one of the cats because she's only allowed to have two pets or something. Yeah. So she, she probably, probably hides the cats. Last night, I've been going to bed like at a decent time for me, but last night I stayed up a little later than I wanted to. And yes, I did sleep in my makeup. I've been doing that my whole life. Why are we gonna complain and try to change now? That's really the least of my problems. But anyways, I do wanna end this video because I do wanna get this video up today for you guys. I hope that you guys did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one, bye. Hello. Yay. That was a video. It was a video. That was a video. It was. All right. It was that, awful. That was terrible. <laughs> All right, love you, bye. Love you, bye.